Hi guys, Sonny here. Welcome back to another Remnant 2 Weapons Guide video. Today we have four weapons. I know the title only mentions two, but we do have four to cover in this video. And you kind of get all four in the exact same way. Admittedly, you will need to re-roll the campaign about 20 times in order to get all four, but I will explain. The four weapons are then the Assassin's Dagger, the Ornate Blade, the Bone Chopper, and Royal Hunting Bow. When you first enter the Somme, the Palace version, the first thing you do is interact with the juggler, and he gives you a quill that opens doors. The door next to him is where you're going to find all four weapons. Every time you re-roll the palace area and open this door, you have a chance of getting one of three levels. The Great Hall, Postulant's Parlor, and the Council Chambers. And all three have weapons inside. Let's start with the Bone Chopper. To get this, you simply finish the Great Hall, and there is a guy who makes you eat and you have to kill a bunch of enemies right at the end. You will use the Ravenous Medallion to open the door. After you defeat all the enemies, then you can take the Dumbwaiter on the right hand side down, and the Bone Chopper is in the small room. So once that's done, you can re-roll the area and keep opening the door until you have Postulant's Parlor. The Royal Hunting Bow is in this area. At the very end of the parlor, you will meet a guy who has a minigame. And all you have to do is simply be the first to get all three of your pieces in a row. He will eventually make a mistake, and then once you win, the bow is in the door that opens afterwards. The final instance is the Assassin's Blade and Ornate Blade. You're going to have to do this twice to get both weapons, and the area you need is the Council Chambers. Basically, you have to accuse one of the members of the Council, and to do this, you go through a mirror to the Council Tribunal, where you can find an Assassin's Blade with a colour at the bottom, matching one of the Council members. To reach the Assassin's Blade, make sure that you match up the symbols in the mirror area with the original Council member's seats. Now that you have the dagger, you can do one of two things. You can accuse a council member, and doing so will get you the ornate blade if you accuse the correct member of the council. Or you can forget the council and take the blade to Nimu, and you can use the blade to craft the actual Assassin's Dagger weapon, which I think looks really cool, but you can't do both in the same instance. You'll have to re-roll the area and repeat the council chambers to get both weapons. Guys, that is it for how to get all four of these unique weapons in Remnant 2. I still have a whole bunch of weapons still to find, so like and subscribe for more guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.